tapestry. Give me a moment to study it. Obviously of Khajiiti origin, old, maybe as ancient as these ruins, perhaps older. I think this depicts one of the forbidden legends. Oh, I can think of any number of reasons for a culture to declare a myth or legend forbidden, though most involve topics too disruptive or dangerous to discuss openly. This particular tale deals with the rise of the new moon. Indeed. Anything that hints at changing the status quo poses a danger to those in charge. See the number of moons? The Khajiit acknowledge multiple moons, but they rarely depict any besides Joan and Jode. The third moon is larger than both of them. The figures at the bottom. Those must represent the new moon cultists. And see the Aeon Stone, emanating energy that gives rise to the third moon? Yes. I'm certain. This depicts the legend of the Dark Aeon. I came across another one of the secret Moonsinger myths during my research. It predicts the coming of a powerful new moon, the Dark Aeon. I think Calgrontid seeks to make this ancient prognostication a reality. Now, let's find the Aegis. According to the legend, this new moon presages a time of darkness and the birth of a new supreme being. Calgrontid seeks to make the prophecy come true. Damn it. I won't have my legacy tarnished by a mad dragon I inadvertently released. Ah, the confidence of youth. Very well then, let's get on with it. We still need to find the source of the magic that's protecting this island. Forget the source of the island's defenses. We need to destroy these ritual sites. Let me try it. I may regret this later, but I'm going to borrow some of this energy. Let's return to the central chamber and get our bearings.
I'll deal with this creature. You cannot stop the dark So much power. That drove it off. Now, to find the source of the Aegis. So much for feeling like my old self again. It took every iota of energy I absorbed from the Aeon Stone, and all I accomplished was to wound the dragon and drive it off. And now, I'm as used up and worthless as an empty water skin. The injured dragon. There's nothing more dangerous, but also totally predictable. It will head to a secure location to mend its wounds. What could be more secure than the source of Dragon Hall's defenses? Your observational skills never cease to amaze me. The energy gave me a boost, but it also wreaked havoc with my body. A mortal vessel was never meant to contain such power. Now that it's gone, I'm nearly spent. I'm not sure we stop the ritual in time. There's a disturbance in the air. Something's about to happen. Come on. Let's find the source of the island's defenses while we still can. The humans and Khajiit could, but not Nafala. We need that dragon and the bond you share to defeat Kalgrontid. As long as the Aegis is in place, Nafala can't reach Dragonhold. We need to remove it. Another tapestry, and that's clearly a dragon. Hmm. This tapestry continues the legend of the Dark Aeon. I suppose it would be more accurate to call it a prophecy. Because the cultists don't believe what we see here happened in the past. They believe the Dark Aeon will arise in the future. The very near future. If Kalgrontid has his way. I think the land at the bottom represents this island, Dragonhold. See the vast amounts of Aeon Stone, including the spire at the center? Its energy feeds into the new moon as it rises into the night sky. That's the Dark Aeon. The new moon, the new god that Kalgrontid plans to ascend to. But all that energy, that must be the source of Dragonhold's defenses. We have to find this location. We need to hurry and find the wounded dragon. The tremors grow worse with every passing moment, and I fear we're running out of time. We kill it, though I'm hardly fit for another battle. Even so, I doubt we'll be able to deal with the Aegis while the dragon still lives. Up there! That's Calgrontid! That foul scent! I know these words! You cannot stop me! This island will ascend, and I shall become the Dark Aeon! Trespassers! You will destroy me! Yes! I'm not destroying the Aegis. 
Just a little longer. I'm nearly finished with the Aegis. And a new moon will be born. I destroyed the Aegis. dealt with the island's defenses, but whatever Cal Grontid is doing is getting stronger. Dragon's bones were up in the sky. Open a portal to the mainland. Hurry! It will take the last of my remaining strength to hold this. Find Kamira and Saisa. Prepare the Dragon Guard to attack. I'll be ready when you return. Over here. I told you I sensed Tharn's magic. Then where is he? Where the sacred sons of Yokuda? Up in the sky! How did the Dragon's Island get into the sky? And where is Tharn? Five Claw. Tell me what is happening. The prophecy of the dark Aeon and the new moon. I should have seen it sooner. But what of Tarn? Where is he? Then we must return to the Dragon Guard Sanctum and rally our forces. Even if Tarn managed to overcome the island's defenses, Reaching an island in the sky could pose a significant problem. I must ponder the possibilities. I do not want to imagine Tarn alone on that island. We must gather our forces and get back to him quickly, Five Claw. I fear time is running out for all of us. Tarn's magic? It has a specific scent. Since he has been training me to understand my attunement, I have learned to recognize his magic and track it when he unleashes it. I followed the trail, and it led me here. That is more of a question for Sai Sahan. But ready or not, they are all we have. Let us return to the Dragon Guard Sanctum and figure out how to reach the floating island. Floating dragon. I saw it with my own eyes. Cal Grantid seeks to fulfill the prophecy. I must keep the lesser dragons from attending him on Dragon Hold. Hey! Ah, there goes our ride. 
What do we do now? How are we going to get to Dragonhold? I could try to open a portal, but without Tarn's guidance, I do not even know how to begin. The dragon has no sense of propriety, flying off without so much as a buy or leave. Without him or Tharn, we'll need to devise our own method for reaching Dragonhold. But by the Sword of Saints, I have no idea what that might be. And we'll find that way, somehow. For now, rest. Prepare yourself, and take this for your efforts. Remember, you confirmed Kalgrantid's plan and removed Dragonhold's protection. We're one step closer to ending this, my friend. I refuse to be stymied by a hovering land mass. The floating island could be part of Kalgrantid's plan, but it could also mean he wanted privacy for his final push toward ascension. Either way, we need to find a way to get up there. I considered that option, but without a mage of Abner Tharn's abilities and experience, we have no way to activate the Aeon Stones. No, we'll need to come up with a different solution. As far as I know, this is the first time the Dragon Guard has faced this particular obstacle. We need to find a way to get up to that island, and we need to do so quickly. Talk to Queen Chimera. Her portal magic may turn out to be our only option. There must be a way to reach Dragonhold. Queen Chimera? When did a Nequina put a Khajiit back on its throne? The state of heralds and couriers these days, it's a wonder we hear anything at all down this way. Answers appear before my eyes, my friend. I seek a path for us, but find nothing but dead ends. I have one last idea. Moon's willing, it will work as it did at Jode's core. The path I walked through the Shadow Dance Temple attuned me to the moons and to the memories of my ancestor Anequina Sharp Tongue. They were so clear when I needed them in Northern Elsewhere. Now, nothing. Not even a moon gate, yes? I do not think so. Those ancient edifices connect only to specific locations. I do not think one of those would be on Kalgrontid's island. Now that you are here, there is something else I would like to try. Watch over me while I try to access Anequina's memories. She helped Kunzari defeat Kelgrontid in the past. Perhaps her insights will help us today, yes? Maybe she will speak to me, maybe not. If nothing else, I have to try. Anequina, reveal your memories to me. Just show me her memories. She spoke through me. And her words, Five Claw, they were directed at you. I am as surprised as you are, my friend. But the message I received was clear. You must go to the moonlit cove. That is the cavern of the moon's sacred light. I am certain. 
The answer to our problem waits for you there. No, not this time. I want to search the memories and see if Anequina has more to tell us about Kalgrontit and her adventures with Kunzari. I will confer with Sai Sahan, then have him meet you at the Moonlit Cove. Ghost Cat? Like the spirits that accompanied us through the Shadow Dance Temple? Strange. I did not see this spirit. Are you certain of what you saw? Then I believe you, my friend. And the vision just confirms my conviction that an Equina's message was meant for you. Now, go to Moonlit Cove and find the answer we seek. What do you want? Queen Chimera recalled one last thing before I left her side. It took her a moment to understand what the vision was showing her, but she shared that knowledge with me. I know what we're looking for in this place. A door. An ancient door. Hidden behind a waterfall. Somewhere to the southwest, she thinks. But we're not alone here. The place is crawling with pirates. Be on your guard.
another few steps. You successful, my friend. I fear without the restored tablet, we won't open this door. The fragments fit together? What does it say? Sorry. Khajiit and their riddles. When I said Kunzari's name, the aura disappeared. Try the door now. This really be the tomb of Kunzari? See it too, my friend. Zaru is thinking Faitla will never decipher the clues. Then, to our surprise, here you are. Zar thought we would meet much sooner, dearest friend. Anequina always was too clever with her connotations, yes? Still, you are here now, and we have some small span of time to stop the rise of the Dark Aeon. Do not make Zar blush, dear friend. Legendary certainly fits, illustrious even. But mythic, that's a little much, yes? This one is who you say. The Luminous Lion of Elsewhere, the Joan Light Junter, and the Imprisoner of Dragons, Kunzari. Apologies. It was much more grand when Zar's tales were widely told. As for why Zar has awakened, well, how could this one sleep with all the noise the dragons make? Calgrantid and his brood always were too rambunctious, yes? Oh no, dear friend. Zar's tales have all been told. As this one explained to Jadari long ago, it is time to sing the song of a new hero. Zar can lend you a bit of his experience, however. This one can tell you about a secret path to Dragonhold. You do not expect Zar to draw you a map, do you? Where is the fun in that? No. The tale must be relished, the adventure experienced. That is the way of momentous events. Take my claw and present it to the scion of Inequina. Just mind the skull. The brave and beautiful Kajiti Queen. Inequina's blood courses through her sleek and fragrant form. Give her Zar's claw. She will know what to do with it when she sees it. A rib, a femur, but a claw is least cumbersome. Do not look so surprised. The remains of a Kajiti legend hold great power. Power the sign of an Equina can use to walk the Joan Light path. Clever. You made Zar say more than he meant to. Well done.
Take Zar's claw to the Inequina of this age. She can use it to get your Krajun to Dragonhold. Now, accept this final gift. A quick path back to your Krajun. That is where this story truly begins. All this way for the remains of a legend? I hope Queen Gamera knows what to do with it. The hidden door. Tell me, my friend, what did you find behind the hidden door? Do we have a way to reach Dragonhold? Truly, Five Claw, bright moons. What did you find inside? A weapon? A tomb? Something even more magnificent. His. Claw? And this will help us reach Dragonhold and put an end to Kalgrontid? Well, if Kunzari's spirit insisted. It is a claw. That is definite. I will study it, search Anequina's memories. It must have a purpose, even if the meaning initially eludes me. Did Kunzari say anything else, Five Claw? The Joan Light Path? Hmm. I have never heard of such a thing, but it does sound promising. Not yet, but I will study the claw and search my memories. Let the attunement guide me. The answer will come. I just need some time. Go! Find Sai Sahan and make sure the Dragon Guard is ready to proceed. John Light Path. Magnificent, yes? It was here that the most legendary Khajiit learned to cross vast distances in a short amount of time. The quickest way to reach the unreachable. Dangerous without an experienced guide. Luckily, you have Zar. Zar can go anywhere, yes. You? No, not so much. Between the two of us, only Kunzari has heard Azura's whispers and climbed the Forbidden Tree. But this one will show you how to reach Dragonhold. Now, hurry along before your heart bursts apart. Or your soul will be torn asunder. Only Azura's swiftest champions can survive in this between place for very long. Why? Uh, who can say? Azura keeps certain secrets even from her favorites. Now, step lively upon the moonlight and be quick. Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. between the stars, dear friends. Zar will feel terrible if any of you fall. So many islands, but no way to reach them. The end is near, dear friends. You can almost smell Kalgrontid's stench from here.
This is the spot where the liminal of here touches the liminal of there. Yes. Portals. Enter first and emerge last. Even time refuses to work correctly around such magic. Come. Queen Kamira and Nephilar are up ahead. What began in Anequina ends in the sky over Pelatine. I sense... power. A vast supply, building like a storm at the island's heart. Cal Grontid is close to achieving his terrible goal. Luckily, Nafalar had the foresight to meet us here. Hmm. I have a guess. Nafalar tells us that there are focal points, Aeon Stones placed at key locations around the island. If we can disrupt the flow of energy through these focal points, it may stop Kalgrontid's ascension ritual. If Abnar Tharn was with us, he would have a magical solution. In his absence, I see only one clear path. We must destroy the Aeon Stones that make up the focal points. I doubt Kalgrontid has left them undefended. Be prepared for a fight, Five Claw. Mask Bearer. Don the mask of Alkash and fill it with the energy of the creatures of Dark Aeon. It will protect you and the others from my fire. Part of the complex you explored with Tharn. If Tharn still lives, he could have taken refuge inside. We'll find him, Queen Chimera. I've seen Tharn survive worse things than a floating island. Moons help him, but I suspect Tharn has more to worry about than the floating island. Thank you. 
was the last of the focal points. Now, to deal with Kalgrontid. As you say, Queen Kamira. <laughs> again. How typical. I had a feeling that you were behind the disruption of the other focal points. Figured I'd help by taking out this last one. Ever the voice of support and tact. Considering the circumstances, I could be worse. Unfortunately, I believe we solved one problem and created another. To safely absorb all that energy, Calgronti needed the focal points. As close as he is to his ascension, safety will be the furthest thing from his mind. If he proceeds with his ascension, and makes even the slightest mistake. If Calgronti tries to ascend without the focal points, he could unleash all that pent-up energy. The resulting blast would destroy elsewhere. Perhaps all of Tamriel. You worry more than a Norse nursemaid. To the center of the island. It's time to end this. I ran. Dodged falling bricks and leapt over collapsing floors. Made my way to the surface. Only to find we were a league or more in the sky. I did what any proper battle mage would do. I hid. As you can see, I'm in no condition to take on Calgrontid by myself. So I watched and waited. How did you get back here, by the way? Of course he did. If we survive this, you can explain that to me later. Now, let's go try and kill that damn dragon. door. Calgrontid is through there. Before we enter, prepare yourselves. And this might be the last time we have a chance to talk, so use it well. This is it. Our Krajun is now complete. Now we shall end the story that started with Kunzari, one way or another. I'll cast spheres of protection upon the gravity ways which help Rocky prepare the challenge. One last drink before I complete
Grondid. The island is shaking apart. What's happening? The energy in the Aeonstone. We need to contain it before it explodes. Even in death, that damn dragon haunts me. If that Aeonstone shatters, Tamriel is doomed. No, my friend. This task requires a dragon and a battle mage. Take Kamira and Saisahan. Find a way out of here. Nafala and I will contain the explosion. And we have accomplished amazing things. But this, this isn't something you can help me with. Save the others. I need to reach that crystal before it explodes. I prepared for a moment such as this. I insist that you trust me this one last time. If this is goodbye, my friend, it has been a privilege. I will do what I can. Get them out of here, Kamira. I know you. Our will do always does. Save them. Get out of here. Nephilim, could you fly us off the island? I must aid. Moons take your time. Suppose I have to try. You give me strength. Finally awake, I see. Come, stand with me, Five Crow. a better teacher than I gave him credit for. When I needed to do it, I was able to open a portal. The island, it exploded, but the blast spread no farther. Tarn did it. Elsewhere is safe. I know, Five Claw. I know. I did not like the man, but I came to respect him. In the end, he was part of my family. We will honor his memory and his sacrifice. I will see to it personally. Sai went back to the Dragon Guard Sanctum to check on the others. As for Nafalar, I do not know. He was on Dragonhold helping Tarn. We can only hope. The Dragon Guard, they did so much. And you, always my champion. My words, they are not enough, yes? You have done so much for my homeland. For me. Go to the Dragon Guard Sanctum. Meet with the others. I wish to stay here a while longer. I will find you when I return. All of this makes one think about the past. I lost my family. I lost good friends. I nearly lost my homeland. But we persevered. Before I met you, there was something else I lost, though. I did not realize it. Something that you returned to me. Hope. No matter what we faced, no matter the danger, you never gave up. You never gave in. You taught me such a valuable lesson. You and Tarn both. Thank you, my friend. This dragon guard, it's good, but it needs work. Luckily, Sai Sahan has me to knock some sense into this sorry bunch. The work, the mission. We may have taken out the dragon clan mothers, so to speak, but there are still a lot of lesser dragons to deal with. For that, the dragon guard needs to learn how to fight. And fighting, that's my specialty. For as long as they'll have me, me and Captain Zaji both. Truth be told, the bearded one handles himself well in battle. I think I could learn a thing or two from him along the way. So, it works out for everyone for me to drop anchor here. 
This one is sorry he missed all the action on Dragonhold. Zaji expects to be part of the next assault on a floating island, yes? The smuggling? The piracy? The drinking? Oh, this one has dropped them like a hot sweet cake. Well, except for the drinking. Zaji always wanted to be a hero. But Dragon Guard, it gives Zaji a chance to do something important with his life. Something good. But we should be celebrating, not examining decisions that brought us to this point. At least not while we're sober. Zaji still thinks a celebration is in order. Perhaps this one will mention it to the Lady Queen from Anequina. She must have enough gold to throw a proper party. There are still dragons to deal with. And the Dragon Guard will need more ships. A whole fleet of them. Then Captain Zaji will require a grander rank. What do you think? Admiral Zaji? Yes? Ah, Mask Bearer. I look around my home and see so much activity. The Bearded One's minions, they scurry like ants in the moon sugar. It vexes me. The Battle Mage wanted to contain the energy of the Aeon Stones, to keep the release from destroying anything beyond the crumbling island. I helped him achieve that goal before I returned here. I do not know. The battle mage was weak, exhausted, but he refused to give up. He wanted to save you, save this land. I lent him enough of my power to accomplish that task. It was the least I could do, after he helped stop Calgrantid. All I can tell you is what Calgrantid believed. He believed that with enough power, he could become a new moon in the sky, a new god to challenge Akatosh. Regardless of the truth, he had to be stopped. Now, for me, the time has come to move on. Wherever my wings will take me, Mask Bearer, I must bide my time and wait for the next event that requires my intervention. It was good to see that we could work together, mortal. I will remember that. And now, farewell. We may meet again, Mask Bearer. The world is not so very large. And do not worry about the mask. Like me, it will bide its time until it is again needed. Tell the Dragon Guard they have my respect.